Now, this particular blog is going to be all about uh, eBay success and why you should go and start to make money on eBay itself and why it is such a great way for you to make cash. Of course, you can see my office right now. This is my office right there. And you know why my office is right at my house? It is because I do stuff like eBay and Fiverr and all kinds of things that make me money without actually for me having to go about and walk nine to five and punch the clock. And there is a boss, of course, you have to uh, always, you know, talk to them with uh, having your own business and doing this all by yourself. Uh, you are you are kind of your own boss, so you set and you pace yourself in order to make cash. And that's a little bit different with people who are doing it the same way as I'm doing it. So when you're doing something like this, you have to self-motivate yourself. You have to get yourself to do things. For example, uh, lunch break. I mean, you take it when you feel like it. You put as much work as you want to put because this is the amount of money you will get paid. So more work you put into your own business, the more cash you will get paid in the future on the other hand if you slack off you decide hey i have my own boss i can do whatever i want yeah you can but then again you're not going to get paid if you're not going to do any work whatsoever so that is the key to your success you got to put as much time as you can you got to be disciplined this is a little different than having a boss right there that tells you hey listen you gotta do this and that and you know you know you will get fired over here you might not get fired from ebay but then again uh unless you really really uh, i mean do some really silly stuff but then again uh ebay itself you want to make money with ebay you got to put the effort into ebay you got to put as much effort as you put into a nine to five job in order to make as much as a nine to five in ebay itself that is the key so i put a lot of effort into ebay i walk into my listings i change the prices constantly i go into it and see what worked for me what didn't i lower the prices and during certain times of the year i get rid of access inventory i get new inventory that is going to sell you have to constantly do this if you don't do this kind of stuff it's your business is just gonna not go anywhere people are not gonna buy stuff from you because you're not getting new products and if you have products that are not selling why waste time with products that are not working you want to get rid of them you want to lower the prices so they're gone you want to get something that actually sells that makes you money when you make more money you invest more in the business itself and you keep on doing it over and over again that's how you make more cash with ebay now ebay is something that you can do i mean the whole year round you can do 365 days a year of ebay but are you going to get paid 365 days a year probably not now you get paid with ebay when somebody buys the product. There are certain times of the year when eBay sells a lot more than others. During the holiday season, you get a huge amount of traffic. The rest of the year, you get a slow input of sales. So if you're, I mean, if you're a good seller, you have a good store, you have all the business basic done of eBay, you're gonna get at least like every sale every week. Sometimes you get it every day. It depends on how good your store or the products that you're selling actually is. On the other hand, during the holiday season, you might get a like three or five or even like 10 sales a day. There is a big difference between the holidays and when you walk to them. And the big thing with e eBay, it is just like any retail environment. You gotta walk your way until you get to the holiday season. So the whole year, you're really preparing for a very small window of time, which is gonna be the few months that start around Thanksgiving and they go all the way until January. That is the time period that you are preparing yourself for. And this is the most important time period that you're actually preparing yourself for it. And which means that you're gonna get the majority of your money during that time of the year. Everything else is just the icing on the cake. The cake itself is going to be eaten during that very small limited amount of time, which means that you have to put as much effort as you can in building your empire and creating the most perfect uh, eBay store that you can actually create because during that short amount of period of time, there is no room for mistakes. You don't want to have products that are not selling. You definitely don't want to have a uh, uh, 
<laughs> the, the worst thing that can actually happen to you is, is the following. You go into this particular period of the year and you have no inventory or even worse, you have a very small amount of inventory. You get rid of it at a very low pricing and it's all gone. Now you have to have more inventory than the worst time of the year to get it, which is the actually the holiday season. This is a big mistake I once actually did. And I had this uh, Nintendo game. I went to Walmart. I found it for like 20 bucks. And you're getting this Nintendo system. It was like a handhold system for $20 right now. Uh, this was a very, very silly thing that I actually did because I was selling it for 50, 40 bucks. I was making maybe double profit. But guess what? If I just waited a few more years, it would have exponentially run up the same exact Nintendo system uh, for Game Boy start to sell for around 100 120 bucks because you, people couldn't get their hands on it the item retired they don't make them anymore and once something retires the price goes exponentially higher and your small investment becomes a lot bigger so this is a big mistake i actually did that time and i was trying to just get rid of it eventually i got rid of all my inventory i had like so many of them so i didn't know what to do so i i actually went back to the same walmart and they had more of them and i kept on buying it i think uh, eventually i ended up like buying 60 or 70 units of this item and i sold it for double the profit but you know what i could have made a triple or quadruple even more profit if i just waited maybe a year or two and stored it in my place or of course stored it in a storage place that that's another thing for people who don't have a place to store things. You, you gotta have a storage, sp I mean, space. If you don't have a storage space to put things into, then it's not gonna work for, for, for you. So you gotta do the drop shipping then. You, you can't go about by wholesale because you don't have the space to store the items that you're actually selling. And that's why if you wanna do like Amazon FBA, it might be more beneficial for you because they store the items for you, but you gotta pay the amount for storage anyway. So you're paying them a little bit uh, for storing the item on their place. And then when somebody buys them uh, from you, then you don't have to pay the storage fee anymore. That's why it's always good to get rid of access inventory as Amazon FBA. But this topic, of course, is all, all on eBay. So let's get back to eBay itself. So with eBay, you got to do your own storage. You got to have either the, your own place where you store the items to. Um, you, you can rent a garage. You can rent a place from your parents. You can, I mean, put that. Um, I mean, the, the stuff you have to sell in your friend's house, you gotta find a place to store all those items that you're selling and you gotta find the cheapest possible place to do it. That is also secure. You don't wanna put this in a place that somebody's gonna break into or a place that something might happen to the items that you're selling, even a storage unit. Sometimes those places, you know, I mean, they're not really safe and over there as well so you got to think about what you got to do and some people like the ebay dropshipping where they go about they don't have any inventory on them they know the item is not stored in their place don't have to worry about that they're just getting the item and they're just shipping it directly to their product of course it's a lot more work with i mean doing that like this you have to monitor there's a lot of things you have to do it's a lot more complicated than just go about hey i found the product let me drop ship it there's a whole set of steps you gotta actually follow to enable to do the drop shipping on ebay itself it is complicated it's not easy to do and the amount of money that you make with drop shipping is going to be it's going to be like the difference between the cost of the inventory and the amount of the markup that you're doing when you're selling it from your own place, which means there is a limited amount of profit that you can do. And the only way you make a good money with drop shipping with eBay, you gotta mark up the items as much as you can, and you gotta sell a bunch of this stuff. The more stuff you actually sell, the more money you'll be making with drop shipping. On the other hand, on the wholesale, it's a little bit different here because you're getting the product you already have the product on hand and you can mark it up as much as you can if it is a rare and unusual item you can sell it for a lot more money so th those are the things that you could do so i i like doing actually both the one i like the most of course is wholesale i rather like buy a bunch of stuff and i mean i'm in cons control of the inventory i know that i have the inventory on me which is kind of, kind of good. I know I'm not gonna run into, uh, I mean, a shortage of the inventory with dropshipping. You're gonna make sure the item is always there. The prices don't really fall down too much because if they do, I mean, uh, that's gonna 
hold your bottom line, or of course, if, if they go up, I mean, that, that's going to do the other opposite as well. So you, you got to be careful with the drop shipping. You're going to make sure your source is good. You got to make sure that what, what, that the source itself, if you're out getting it from that location, it's not going to go out of stock. So let's say, for example, the item um, goes from like 50 bucks all the way to 100. And you're selling it for 70. You haven't actually noticed that the price actually increased. So now you have a little bit of an issue here because somebody buys it from you and you're going to be actually selling the item at the loss because you haven't actually adjusted the price itself. So you got to babysit the items that you're selling as a dropshipper, unless of course you're using the membership sites. Now, the membership sites, of course, I have my own take on them, and I will tell you my honest take about membership sites. They're the worst kind of business that you can get into because, first off, A, you're paying for the membership fee. Now, the membership fee itself is going to be pretty expensive. So most of those sites, they make most of their money on selling the membership fee. So you'll be paying them the money for that. Now, the second problem with the membership sites is now you go into the site, you have all this inventory over there, and guess what? There's thousands of other people who are doing the same exact thing. They're going in there, they're buying the same exact inventory from you, and they're selling it from you as well. And now you're competing against everybody else who's doing the same exact thing. You definitely don't want to do this. It is the same as if you're taking this one class on how to make money on eBay. If you're taking the same course that thousands of other people took on Udemy itself. Now, there is a little bit of a problem here because if you're using the same exact method that he's using, using the same exact product that this person is teaching you how to do, and you have thousands of people who are taking the same exact class, now you're competing against everybody else who's taking the same exact course. So it is also an issue for you when you go into something like this. You want to make sure if you take a dropshipping class, you want to get uh, like like different kind of advice. You want to try different kind of products. And the best thing about this, don't go and buy the products that people recommend you. This is an ideal for you, how to do this. You got to find eventually your own product. Because if I show you, for example, like those are the awesome products that you can make a lot of money on. Now, if every one of my students is going to take the same exact product, is going to do the same exact thing, Maybe this product used to make money, but now it's not going to make this much money anymore because everyone else is jumping on this product. So you got to find your own product eventually. You're going to roll this system. This is the big thing about making money on eBay using all those different systems. You're going to roll this system. And once you roll the system itself, you're actually going to be very, I mean, ahead of everyone else because now you know how the system works all you have to do is implement the system once you implement the system you got to consistently work and making it better and adjusting it and constantly tweaking it and you know what the marketplace always changes it's not like one day it's all the same or like some days it's going to be working for you and other days they might change something in the marketplace now you have to go back in there and of course fix everything and do it different that is the key for success on ebay itself the whole key is persistence being able to go in there working by yourself being your own boss being um really good and selling very good products that is the key also you want to sell products that people actually like and they will come back to you. And of course, the stuff you're selling has to be awesome products and you have to keep on with the market changes. And it's going to, I mean, every year or, or every few years, it's going to be something that's going to happen and they will maybe hike the fees. They, they might come up with some new set of rules. They might actually say that you can uh, do this or you can do some other things. They might make it easier for you or they might make it harder for you. There's always new competition that coming in that might actually look at your shop and say, hey, this is guy is doing a very good job and why not I just copy his business model and do the same thing. So now you're dealing with a few people who are competing against you as well because they can see that you have a huge amount of feedback and they go and check out your products and they'll sign something very really similar. That can happen to you as well. So with eBay itself, you got to always keep your game up, but it is a profitable way to make 
access spell change and some people can make a living with eBay and the way to make a living with eBay and the simplest way to make a living with eBay is just to keep on working on it and keep on doing it eventually if you spend all your effort and there is a huge amount of time you, you can spend every given day on whatever you're doing if you concentrate every single day 20 minutes every day and doing just one business and putting as much effort as you can about loading with eBay itself, you definitely are going to be successful and you're going to be more successful than anyone else out there. So by you concentrating, working hard and doing what you have to do, so you, you can like tell me what you think of this, how this presentation actually went and what you want from this and make sure, of course, to keep on creating and selling stuff on eBay. That is the key for your success. Even if you only sold one item, I mean, I sold my first item a few years ago and that was the best thing I ever did. It was very hard to do. I mean, the first sale is going to be the hardest. The first few sales are going to be very hard. But then when you get good at it, it's going to get easier. We'll see you in my next uh, video and stay tuned for the next one.